Hey guys, it's Krista. So today we're gonna do a what's in my camera bag selfie photography edition. Okay, so the most common question I get asked is, what do I use to take my photos? Like a lot of you already know I take 99.999% of my own photos. Um, I'm a big hashtag selfie photographer. And I think selfie photography in general requires a different setup than typical photography because there are certain things you have to keep in mind when you're doing selfie photography versus traditional photography. So before we get into my camera bag, let's talk about the actual bag itself. So the bag I'm using is this Manfrotto. I don't know the type, I just picked this up at Best Buy one day, but it has this pouch in the top where you put your camera and it has a little pouch in the front where you can put random accessories and whatnot. And then the bottom has um, Velcro sectioning where you can put your lenses and other different random thing. Usually this is like stuff, but I cleaned it out today obviously so. I could show you the bag. Now, one thing I like about this bag is that it's pretty easy and simple and it was very affordable. It has padded straps, so it's very comfortable to wear. Um, but one of the things that I do not like about this particular bag is that the zippers are on the front. So when you're traveling, like some sneaky person behind you could just open this up and like take all your stuff and next thing you know, you're on vacation crying because all your camera equipment's been stolen. Um, so I pretty much don't take this like out with me when I go traveling. And the second downfall of this bag is that it has a space in the top for a laptop, but it only fits like a 13 inch laptop or smaller. And I have a 15 inch laptop, so I really can't use this bag to transport my laptop like when I'm going places along with my, you know, photography stuff, which would be really nice. Um, but yeah, if you have a small laptop or like an iPad or something, then this bag would be perfect for you. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, hold on. And it also has side pockets so you can put your tripod in here and it comes with a strap so you can strap your tripod on um, so you can carry everything that you need right in this bag. So let's get into the good stuff. Let's talk about the camera. The camera that I use is the one that I'm also filming on right now, which is the Canon 80D. It's a mid-level camera with a crop frame sensor. Um, it is great for somebody who has a little bit more experience with cameras, but isn't necessarily trying to spend the money on a full frame professional level camera. Um, I absolutely love it. It's great for me. So if you're looking for a nicer camera, but not ready to quite go to like a professional level camera, then I definitely suggest the Canon 80D. So let's talk about lenses. I use two lenses for my selfie photography and they are my absolute favorite. I own other lenses, but I pretty much, pretty much collecting dust right now. Um, I might branch out and to try different lenses, but right now these two lenses are the ones that I always use. The first lens is the Sigma 35. The first lens is the Sigma 30 millimeter f 1.4. I absolutely love this lens. Autofocus on this lens is fantastic. It is a very, very, very good price. I think I spent about $400 on it. Um, and it's f one. It is f 1.4, so it allows you to get that really blurry, creamy, delicious background on photos and on videos. Um, so this is definitely my go-to lens. I'd say the only reason that I own another lens is because like I mentioned earlier, the Canon 80D is a crop frame camera. So a 30 millimeter on a crop frame is a lot more zoomed in than a 30 millimeter on a full frame lens. So when I'm taking photos in tight spaces, um, it's really hard to get like a full look just because it's so zoomed in. So pretty much if I didn't have that issue, this would be the only lens that I own. Um, but the second lens that I own is a lot more practical and I use it a lot more often than I thought I would when I first purchased it. And that is the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter F1.8, meaning that you get F1.8 at 18 millimeters and you get F1.8 at 35 millimeters. 
and it's absolutely a great camera lens. It's greater for tighter spaces and it's definitely one of the most versatile lenses. It's definitely one of the most versatile lenses um, for selfie photography because it allows you to be closer to the camera and get more in the frame at 18 millimeters. But if you wanna do more of a portrait style, you can crank it over to 35 millimeters at f1.8 and get that nice smooth background. Um, so it's kind of great for everything. And honestly, even though I love my 30 millimeter, um, if you can only get one lens, I would suggest getting the 18 to 35. It's more practical, it's very sharp, autofocus is great, and it's also fantastic for recording video um, for YouTube. If you can only get one lens, get to 18 to 35. Um, and you can get it if you have like a Canon T4i or another Canon crop frame camera, then this lens will also work for you as well. Okay, so the next thing in my camera bag is pretty much the key to so I don't know why I said it like that. The key to selfie photography, and that is my wireless remote. This is a Pixel wireless timer remote control. So this side um, connects to the hot shoe in your camera and you put it in there, you turn it on, and then this is what you use to take the photo. Um, this is about $40 and is absolutely fantastic investment. Um, this remote allows you to do like interval timers. Um, you can set delay. So if you want to set like a six second delay or like a four second delay or like, you know, like not the two or 10 second delay that your camera allows, you can set it up on the remote. So you press the, press the button, throw the remote control behind you or wherever to hide it and takes the photo. Um, and you can also set it up to take continuous photos. Um, so whatever you want, it's very versatile and definitely worth the money if you're into selfie photography and it just allows you to get photos a lot, lot quicker. Um, especially if you have like a flip out screen, then you can look at the screen, press the button, take the photo and do it like 12 times. You don't have to continually run back and forth to your camera to check the photos or to make sure you're in frame or et cetera, et cetera. A wireless remote, one of the best investments you can make for a selfie photographer. And the last things that I have in my camera bag are these little pouches. Now in these pouches are ND filters. An ND filter is kind of like a pair of sunglasses for, ooh, so loud, for your, for your camera lens. So what an ND filter does is block out some of the light that is in your lens. This is great if you have to shoot and it's like, super bright and there's nothing you can do like it's midday it's like 2 p.m the sun's glaring and you need a blurry background photo but you know you're at ios 100 and shutter speed 8000 and your your photo still extremely overexposed using an indie filter will cut some of that light out um, to allow you to get that photo. So there's three different ones and they get darker and these are actually not glass ones. These are plastic. I don't buy glass because this is probably going to break it mostly. Um, and they're like $15. So whatever lens you buy, I highly suggest getting one of these. Um, you never know when you need them and it sucks when you really need them and you don't have them and you pretty much just can't get any photos because it's way too bright. My tripod that I use is a VO235AP. I'm reading it off the tripod right now. Um, so this is a really nice tripod. It is on the more expensive side, but the great thing about this is you can use it outdoors, you can use it indoors, um, and it has been fantastic to me. I love how you can like um, spin the little rubber stops off of the bottom of the tripod, and if the like ground is muddy or rocky it has more stability or if you're indoors you can twist them back up and they have rubber ends and then you can maneuver the tripod legs to whatever height you need right now my tripod legs are like three different heights right now because I have it setting on like a weird spot um, but it allows you to manipulate the tripod so you can sort of do everything every single thing that you can need to do especially as a selfie photographer now it's definitely you don't need to spend this much money on a tripod. For a long time, I used like a $16 tripod I had found at Target, and I actually really liked it, but 
one of the things that uh, wasn't working for me is as I got this larger lens, it pretty much could not hold the weight of the tripod. Um, so if you have a larger camera and a larger lens, it's definitely better to get, you know, a nicer tripod to make sure your camera is sturdy and not going to be falling over and breaking and wasting thousands of dollars because you didn't want to spend a little bit more money on a tripod. Okay guys, so that is everything I keep in my camera bag as a selfie photographer. If this helped you, give it a thumbs up. If it didn't help you and you already knew this but you thought this video was cool, also give it a thumbs up support support a girl you know and <laughs> make sure to follow me on instagram at krista underscore lk and i'll see you guys in the next one mm -hmm.